Man United shouldn't really have to be, you know, struggling to pick up three points versus teams like Bournemouth. And no disrespect to Bournemouth, but, you know, come on, guys, come on. It's Man United. And Eddie Howe and his boys must feel very, very unlucky not to at least pick up a point in this fixture versus a struggling, let's say a struggling Man United, you know, going through a bit of a crisis right now. Let's be real. Let's be real. They have only picked up three wins in their last nine matches. But Bournemouth, they played well. They came into the game at sixth, Man United eighth, and they lost the game two goals to one. And if it wasn't for a late goal by a sub by the substitute Marcus Rashford, Eddie Howe and his boys would have, you know, run away with a very, very valuable one point, which would have field felt like a win for them, you know. Colin Wilson opened the scoring in the 11th minute for Bournemouth, who controlled the game the first half an hour of the game. They created quite a few chances. I think like four to five chances early on. You know, De Gea kept Man United in the game before Anthony Martial, who's scoring his fifth goal in four games, came up big in the 35th minute. And after Man United scored, they went into the halftime break. Man United, you know, Mourinho give his pep talk and it was all Man United in the second half, mostly. You know, they came out, they played well. Mourinho made a few substitutions, you know, brought on Herrera, brought on um, Rashford and brought on Lingard late in the match. And it proved to be, you know, the impetus they needed because that late goal... Very, very good play by Paul Pogba who came up really, really big there with a crossing from it with, with his left foot and Bournemouth defense wasn't able to deal with that crossing. It was a, a whole mess they created in the box there and Marcus Rashford just kept his poise and put it in the back of the net. He has really matured and, you know, he has celebrated his 21st birthday a few days ago. So, you know, happy birthday to the man whose parents are from St. Kitts. So, we are Caribbean people, not because he plays for Man United and I'm a Man City fan. Let me just mention that. But um, it was a good fight back for Man United. Let's just say that. Bournemouth, they tried, they, you know, but they weren't able to hold on for that, for that, for that draw. You know, and it's just classic Man United snatching it late in the match. But as I said earlier... Bournemouth, they will feel very, very unlucky not to pick up a point. Mourinho will be very, very happy to pick up this three points. They go up to seventh, level on points with Bournemouth, but you know, Bournemouth has a better goal difference, and they will play Juventus on Wednesday in the Champions League. Remember, they lost one goal to nil at Old Trafford, so they now will travel to Turin to try to avenge that loss. It will be, you know, a return to Juventus for Paul Pogba and I think it will be a very 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 difficult game for Man United to pick up a result you know they will need a result they will need a result because you know it's the last three games in the Champions League group phase and if they don't pick up a result versus Juventus now who knows what Valencia and Young Boys could do with their remaining matches and next Premier League game, Man United will go away to Manchester City. What a match that will be. The Manchester Derby, a match everyone looks forward to every single season. I could recall, you know, them beating us in the last Manchester Derby, coming back from behind like they did today. You know, come from behind victory. Paul Pogba played a huge role in that game as well. And it's going to be one to look forward to. It's going to be what to look forward to. A mouth-watering contest, as I like to say. But City currently on top of the table. A draw will be a favorable result for both teams. But I will prefer a win for Manchester City. Because we have Liverpool, we have Chelsea on our heels. Then for Bournemouth, they play Newcastle, they play Arsenal, and then they face Manchester City. So the Newcastle game... They could pick up a result in that, but the, the Arsenal game and the game versus, you know, Manchester City, it's going to be difficult for Eddie Howe and his team. But 
a brave performance by you know the team who were in the lower leagues of, the Eng of English football a few years ago and they almost picked up a result versus Man United who they have only beaten twice and today that goal for Colum Wilson marks his 50th goal for Bournemouth so congratulations to Colum Wilson well played to Man United um, you know they fought back and I guess they deserve the three points they didn't play to their best, you know, of their ability because they have quality in the team. Alexis Sanchez is there, Paul Pogba, Lukaku was missing, but Ashley Young played well today, Luke Shaw. You know, they, they had opportunities to score. Begovic came up big on a few occasions, but, you know, when it counted, Man United put it in the back of the net. So, I think Man United will continue will continue to pick up a mixed bag of results this season you know it's hard to break into that top six right about now with well they could actually break into the top six with Bournemouth you know right ahead of them but with Tottenham Arsenal Liverpool Chelsea Man City up top it's going to be hard to break into the Champions League places this season for Man United unless they start winning games on a stretch but guys, let me know your thoughts on this match. Bournemouth, I think, played really, really well. And they are lucky to pick up the points. Stanislaus played well. You know, Colum Wilson played well. Begovic, the goalkeeper. Nathan Ake as well. And they just have to continue, you know, putting on performances like this. And, you know, they could finish in the top half of the table this season. Eddie Howe just wants to survive. These teams, I think, survival is the motive you know but for man united top four champions league football trophies are the motive but i don't think they're going to achieve any of that this season if they continue you know playing like they are i'm not saying they can't i'm just saying they need to play a lot better but guys that's my thoughts for the you know bournemouth versus man united fixture let me know yours in the comment section down below and if you're new around here consider you know hitting the, the subscribe button smash the thumbs up button and until next time peace out rich squad